What's up everybody, my name's Egan, and I'm going to talk about how much I wish COD was as fun as it used to be. And when I say COD, I mean everything, well, all video games that used to be a lot more fun than they are now. And first off, yeah, I'm using the Akimbo FMG9s. Troll me, I don't care. They're overpowered, I don't use them anymore. I really wish they'd patch them, but I had my fun, so I'm done with them. Anyway, now I'm not going to talk about the gameplay anymore. I really wish COD was not as boring or stupid or retarded as it is now. Now, it's pretty much just full of people camping in corners with assassin like... Oh, no, that guy wasn't using it. He's, uh, he's a level zero, or one. Props to that guy. He wasn't camping yet. Anyway. Yeah, I, I really think that COD and, you know, all video games have really gone downhill with... Well, at least all the, the major production companies have stopped with making high-quality games, and they've pretty much just focused on... Oh, well, let's just pump something out in the next year, and, you know, everybody bought the one before it, so they're obviously anticipating this one because we made that one so bad that they're pretty much going to play this no matter what we do to it. And I think that's essentially what's happening with COD. People... I, I don't... I don't think people are going to not buy the next Call of Duty. I, just because it has the name Call of Duty in it, they're going to want to buy it, and everybody else is going to buy it, so, you know, some they're, somebody in their, somebody's going to buy it, and then their friend is going to want to buy it so they can play it with their friends. And I think that's the only reason I really play COD anymore. I don't find it all that much fun to play solo. And I think I was playing solo in this game. I'm not 100% sure. I might have been. Um, but I it's just whenever I play now, I always get put on the team with the, you know, retarded, semi... Well, no, just complete retards who have no idea how to play Domination who think it's cool to sit in a corner with Assassin, and hell, even when they sit in those corners, everybody on the other team is sitting in corners too, so I'm pretty much the only one in the game running around. And they're all... whatever it's called, um... Oh, ah, what's the word I'm thinking of? Um, my mind is completely blanking out. They're all, like... Why, I don't understand why you'd pay $60, or $67 for a brand new game, just to sit in a corner. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I think that guy ran around the corner, but he was, he was like, running through a spawn, running towards his flags. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but why is it, why is it fun? Why is it, you know, not as... I don't know. I just don't understand how that, that makes, uh, makes sense in people's minds. But, whatever. They spent their money. They can have, as, they can do whatever they want, but really... I just wish that COD was as much, like, MW3 was as much fun as MW2 was. MW2 was my first COD, and, and when that game came out, I got it in January, late January. So I was a Christmas noob, and, you know, in, in all uh, in all this respect to me, um, yeah, I sucked at that game. Uh, the first ever COD that I played was World at War, and Kevin was the one who owned it. And the only reason he got the game was because of zombies, and the only reason I got the game was because of him. And so pretty much my only, the only reason I play first-person shooters is because of him. I want to say thank you, Kevin, but I'm not really thankful because you pretty much just bring anger towards me. But with Modern Warfare 2, I feel like that really set the bar and set the standards for, you know, a, a high-quality COD game. And I, I had so much fun with that game, despite, you know, my .7 KDR once it settled in. And my, you know, absolutely terrible ability to play the game. I had so much fun with it that it was just like, what? What am I gonna possibly do when Black Ops comes out? That game is gonna be like, it's new. It's I, at the end of Modern Warfare 2. I don't know, in maybe May-ish, I started to, you know, get really annoyed at the game because I started to get better. I started watching YouTube videos. I started, you know, doing things along those lines, and it really kind of started to show me what was wrong with that game, and really, there was only two major flaws in Modern Warfare 3, or 2. It, you had One Man Army, Danger Close, Noob Tubes, and Commando. I was, the, I feel like the snipers were balanced, it wasn't instantaneously, um, like, zooming in, it wasn't as instantaneous as it is now. Um, like, I think they made quickscoping way too easy in this game. Uh, the, whatever it's called, um, trying to think the kill streaks the way that they like made them from you know 357 to pick your own kill streaks and I, I think the nuke was an amazing idea I think that you know a lot of a lot of that game was amazing and it pushed so much on the, you know Call of Duty and you know first-person shooters as a whole 
towards, you know, how to do... How to make a good game that people respect and love. I mean, Modern Warfare 2 is still my favorite Call of Duty. And it's probably, in my opinion, one of the most broken. It was easy to exploit. You had One Man Army, Danger Calls, Noob Tubes. You had Commando. You had the UMP, which I don't believe is overpowered. I think that the Ump is you know, a good gun. It's probably the best submachine gun all around. But the major 100% um, big problem with it is that... Well, actually, it's not really a problem, but you can beat um, somebody using the MP5K... or you know, If you use the MP5, you can beat somebody at long range, or sh close range, using a UMP. Because it does more damage per second up close than the UMP. But at medium range, it's going to kick the, or the MP5's ass. If you play, or if you're using an ACR or a TAR or something at longer range, you're going to, or I don't know why I use a TAR, that's more of a medium range gun. But I can beat a UMP at, you know, medium range with a TAR when, you know, they should win the gunfight. But that's just gun skill. I don't like that you can, you know, this isn't, this isn't about that. Um, you can beat the UMP at long range with an ACR or with a FAMAS. It's just, it all comes down to how you're using it. I think the number one problem with the UMP was it made a bad player good. And that's, you know, the biggest problem with COD, is they're catering to bad players. Death streaks, support kill streaks, um, you know, they're all um, good additions to the game, and yeah, they'll help you when things aren't going your way, but it really re... re, re um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh... Ah, I had this problem last night. Um, makes a worse player... Rewards the worst player. There we go. Is what I'm trying to say. It really makes it easy to be good at this game. You don't have to... You know, you can... Anybody can win a gunfight in this game using a Type 95 when you're using, you know, an MP7 or something. Close range, two-shot kill. Long range, usually a one-burst. You know, if you're playing it... You know, if you're playing the game to try and have fun with it, it's hard to play against people using, you know, the overpowered good guns. And, you know what, whatever. I'm fine with that. MW2, great game. I had its flaws. I still think it's the best COD game, my opinion. I mean, a lot of people say COD 4, best COD game. I wouldn't say so. M16, extremely overpowered. It's, you know, I mean, I, I still use it when I play COD 4, but not as much as, you know, I use... I don't know, an AK-47 or an AK-74, something along those lines. It's just, it really feels like that game, you know, the frag grenades, trip frag, sonic boom, you know, everything along those lines. I don't know how people can say it's the most balanced. I think there's the least amount of bullshit, but I, don't, I wouldn't call it the most balanced. I'd say probably Black Ops is the most balanced. As much as I hate that game, as much as I say that the FAMAS is overpowered, I could probably beat the FAMAS, you know, with... A person of my skill level, I could probably beat them using, I don't know, uh, I don't know, a commando or something. If I feel like whatever it's called, um, what, what am I, what am I trying to say? Um, the AUG and the FAMAS are the exact same gun, but the FAMAS has easier recoil, therefore it is, you know, pushed towards on normal players. I mean, the AUG is the exact same gun. It's just, you know not the best because the FAMAS has that much easier recoil to use. I mean, I'd take the AUG over the FAMAS any day. But just the way the way I had fun with, you know, COD 4, or not COD 4, but Modern Warfare 2 when it came out. I mean, I'd run home and play that game every day. I, I had a .7 KDR, and I just, you know, right before the end of Black Ops, I got my KDR up to even. And you have any idea how proud of myself I was? I have 26 days played on that game. That is still my favorite COD. I still have more fun on that COD than I do on anything else. Why? I have no idea. That game has got a lot of bullshit. And when I say a lot of bullshit, I mean, now it's just the COD community playing like crap. I mean, that game would be amazingly good if people didn't abuse One Man Army Noob Tubes. If people didn't abuse Commando. I mean, you can't really abuse a perk. I mean, it is in the game, and if you want to use the excuse that, oh, it's in the game, then it's I'm obviously allowed to use it. Well... Come on, do you think that they were, they had One Man Army Noob Tubes in mind when they put Danger Close in the game? No! They didn't expect people to exploit the game as much as they did, but whatever, you can't change it. I mean, the game is two years old now, you got Modern Warfare 3, you got Black Ops. I'm not having any fun with Modern Warfare 3, it was amazing for the first week. Lots of fun, felt 
I just burped. Extremely balanced. It felt, you know, really good. It sucks now. I'm sorry. It is retardedly boring. The community, yeah, it's just no fun. I wish everything was, you know, back when the the gaming community was new. I mean, back when I played Super Smash Bros. and stuff with my friends. The character wasn't overpowered. They were good. I mean, the UMP 45, when I started playing COD, it was good. It wasn't overpowered. And I kind of miss the way things used to be. It... Uh, it's... It's hard to put into words exactly how I feel towards COD, but... It's... I don't know, it's just not, not as much fun as it used to be. I'm really disappointed with that. Am I gonna get the next COD? I don't know, depends how the next year goes. Depends how much, you know, I, I feel Battlefield. Depends how much I feel any other first-person shooter. I mean... I'm still going to love first-person shooters. I will always love first-person shooters and video games. I mean, it's an amazing hobby, and I'm, I believe that it's a, a great thing to do. I mean, as long as it's not a beautiful day out. But it's just... I don't know. It bugs me to see how people play COD. It bugs me to see, you know, how people abuse it. But I guess that's just human nature. Exploit things as much as you can. My name's been Egan. And it will always be Egan. I don't know why I say it's been Egan. I went 40-something uh, and something, and uh, if you enjoyed this, please give me a comment. If you didn't, please give me a dislike.